Today's healthy meal is air fried salmon. This recipe is great for those who are looking or trying to lose weight. Salmon is a delicious fish that is versatile and easy to find in most markets. With salmon's heart healthy omega-3, high quality protein and rich micronutrient content, it's worth adding to your meal plan. A higher intake of omega-3 is associated with a reduced risk for certain diseases such as cardiovascular disease, Alzheimer's and other conditions. Some nutritional facts about salmon. Salmon provides 121 calories, 17 grams of protein, 4.5 grams of fat, including beneficial omega-free fatty acids and the helpful polyunsaturated and non-saturated fats, 34.4 grams of sodium, and there is no fibre, sugar, carbohydrates in satin, salmon. The following nutritional information is provided by the USDA for three ounces, 85 grams of raw wild Atlantic salmon. On the vitamin and mineral side, salmon provides vitamin A and multi B vitamins. It is one of the only few natural sources for vitamin D. Wild salmon is a particularly good source. Salmon is also rich in several minerals, including magnesium, potassium, phosphorus, zinc, and psyllium. Additionally, canned salmon contains lots of calcium due to the edible bones. So apart from being healthy, it's also delicious. Now, before we get into how to prepare this lovely meal, I'd like you to subscribe, leave a comment, like and of course hit that bell icon so that you uh, get notified of when I upload new recipes. I'd really appreciate it. Cooking the salmon. You can cook salmon in an air fryer with any of your favourite seasonings using the time and temperatures in this recipe. Firstly, choose your favourite type of salmon. Fresh versus frozen salmon you will need to keep an eye on it while cooking as frozen salmon will take slightly longer my preference is for uh, unfrozen salmon because uh, it makes it easier to add the spices and also uh, it uh, cooks better prep the salmon set the air fryer to 200 celsius and pat the salmon fillets down with paper towel. Do not skip this step as it will help the seasoning stick better. First, we grab some Dijon mustard. The mustard keeps the top moist and adds that special flavor. Finally spread half a tablespoon of mustard onto each salmon fillet. A brush or the back of the spoon is easy way to shimmer it into one thin layer. Adding the spices. I'm using a blend of sweet paprika, though you could use smoked paprika, garlic powder, salt and pepper. The steps in this salmon recipe pretty much straightforward, but you do want to make note about the spices. Although there are measurements written out for each one, I've found that shaking them straight from the spice bottle has the best results for evenly coated crust, where sprinkling with a measuring spoon tends to clump them up on top. You do not want that. A little tip is don't rinse the salmon with water. Just like chicken, the FDA recommends not to wash raw fish. It can increase the risk of contamination by accidentally spreading onto their surfaces in your kitchen. Now that you've prepared the fish, add the two salmon fillets into the air fryer and cook for between eight to 10 minutes until flaky with a fork. Keep an eye on the timing. All air fryers are different, so when it comes to temperature, some cook hotter and others cook lower. 
So make sure to check on the salmon around the eight minute mark to prevent from burning on top. It's always best to slightly undercook the salmon and add more time if needed than accidentally overcook it. Well, that's how you cook salmon. If you'd like to uh, subscribe to our channel, please do by hitting the subscribe tab and remember to hit the bell icon to uh, receive more notifications for the other videos that we upload. Or just leave a comment. You've been listening to Philip's Cooking Recipes and I'm Philip Gale and thank you very much. Bye for now.